Okay, here we have the uh, initial testing of the ME3 connected now to its propeller and line shaft, uh, line shaft prop shaft. As you can see, the universal joint there is working fine. It's going through quite a degree of uh, movement actually in order to uh, just hold in on that. I've just got the uh, the engine unit just temporarily just uh, screwed in. This one's going to have to be filled with a syringe and using a, a spark igniter because of the space available. I wish in some respects now I'd put another inch, inch and a half in the base, but I'm going to be doing that with the uh, with the Arrow 3. But anyway, as you can see, the uh, connection seems to be working okay. Steam is coming out of the uh, makeshift chimney. And uh, as you can see, the prop shaft is turning freely. I'll move it back a bit. The uh, the prop itself I've screwed on to the shaft and locked it in position with an M4 bolt. And uh, I've just given it a limited fueling because it's quite dangerous at the moment because I've had to fill this up um, basically the lamp half full and then quickly sort of move it in around that bulkhead and the cowling on the engine in order to get it to fit in correctly. Uh, so I'm going to fill it up in situ. Uh, it's just one of the limitations of keeping obviously the engine as a unit design. Um, I've moved the whole engine unit back here uh, about 15 millimetres to give more room for that prop shaft to turn. Now as you can see it seems to be moving quite freely. Prop shaft is turning fine. If I move the engine around a little and get a, a better view of it. Next major job is to glue the whole sides on now, but I just really wanted to make sure that the ME3 was going to work uh, satisfactorily. If I uh, show the actual chimney itself, will sit on there like that, so it'll actually look more of a, an actual a boat chimney. I sit it something like that. You get the idea of the effect. But uh, I'm pleased that uh, it's, it's working smoothly. It's caused an untold amount of problems trying to sort of fabricate universal joints and try all sorts of combinations. But essentially, you're limited by the the width or the length of that base plate. And uh, I did not want to take the engines apart at all. And uh, it's, it's, I've had to sort of spend a whole lot of uh, extra sort of time trying to get this to work properly. The connection at this end is by a splined screw-on connector, which fits into the splined connection on the universal joint itself. This ME3 is has very very little use actually the chrome on it is excellent the base plate is very clean um, it's still for some strange reason got a brass lamp you would thought by the time 65 came along they were using steel lamps but uh, it's a proper marine engine lamp because it's got a little shield that you find fitted to the end of the the lamp itself on the the handle you will also note that the handle in there I've actually got that one very carefully bent up so it sits inside the cowling You can tell how uh, good the chrome is because obviously you can see my reflection and me talking uh, in this uh, video. Uh, you know, so the chrome on here is very, very, very good condition indeed. The deco is a little worn, but uh, there you go. But I've got one of my professional replacement ones sitting on there. Uh, this was part of the uh, one of the designs which was uh, stolen from me by some undesirables. Um, but essentially. Uh, you want the best decals and speak to the people who know about it. Anyway, I'm very pleased with this overall. This uh, seems to be uh, running quite smoothly. Nothing's jumped off. The engine's secure in position. The, the joints have been given extra movement um, on here, point to it, on this part, by cutting uh, two slots so that the dog pulley can fit in. 
suppose ultimately you can put a spline connector on there, but I need one of those with a grub screw on it because the spline connectors I get from hobbies have uh, an M4 thread on them. They're designed to work with the, uh, the prop shaft, which obviously you can see which is glued into position and sealed here and uh, in here as well. Obviously this one's much simpler rear end, it's got none of the radio control nonsense servos, batteries, I don't want none of that rubbish. Uh, I just want this as a, a really sort of traditional basic pond steamer. The whole engine unit itself can be taken out if need be for servicing or changing and if need be I could actually take out and drop in the ME2 unit which will fit in exactly in position although I might need to move the ME2 engine back a little bit you can see there are two extra holes there since the ME2 is pre-65 it's sort of screw construction so um, you know I could actually do something on that I am contemplating possibly fitting a, a displacement lubricator which will mean if I move the engine back to give me more room I will cut that pipe, fit the displacement lubricator on there, but I'm very reluctant to do so in some respects because uh, the ME2 is not a particularly common engine and I don't want to go uh, creating it into a non-standard engine. I want to keep it totally original. So the uh, propeller is locked on very, very tightly. Uh, I know Pete had some problems I saw recently on the video with his propeller. Uh, stick, I've, I said, I saw his excellent video. I said basically stick another, uh, stick a, a prop on another bolt on here and lock the two against each other. And maybe as some people have suggested use some uh, lock thread locking solution as well. Um, there's no chance it will come off at the other end. Uh, but obviously these propellers are about £10 a go. Brass propellers, they're beautiful propellers. Uh, but you don't want one of those dropping off uh, in the middle of a pond. Well, certainly if it's, uh, if it's only a few inches deep, maybe not a problem, but uh, anywhere else, um, mm, wouldn't, wanna, wouldn't want that to happen. You can see the extra exhaust pipe I fitted on with a seal on here. Take that up into the, uh, the engine cowling, which will then eject out the top. The uh, the ME3 or the ME2 when that was fitted to Arrow 3, you think I would have put Arrow 3 with the ME3 engine? But anyway, there you go. Um, the the chimney is going to sit somewhere over here, and uh, I've got to get the tube to come around so it sit, the chimney sits more towards the back. Um, so it'll give a, I think a more racier look. So there you have it, the uh, Arrow 2. Marion, which hopefully I will have finished and ready for September and uh, show it at the uh, the Exeter Bar Shop at uh, Matford. And uh, so this is running very smoothly indeed. Certainly no problems from the SEL engine unit. Runs extremely smoothly. Uh, I've given it a damn good oiling before uh, before I started. It's, it's not got any displacement lubricator on it. Again, I've kept it entirely original, apart from moving the engine back. And um, so overall, it's uh, running extremely well. So there you have it.